Okay, everybody, let me show you our exhibition, Hooks I Met About Painting. This is the first gallery of the exhibition where we are highlighting the beginnings of Hoxai's career as a painter from his mid-30s, 40s to his 70s when he reached the first peak as a painter. Let me show you one of his earliest works in our collection. Come on in. So one of the first, we should say, earliest works in our collection by Hoxai is this painting, which is unsigned, but it is thought to be by Hoxai, dating to, say, around his 40s or so. And it shows two entertainers in the new year, but it also expresses Hoxai as an early artist in his career. It is painted in relatively inexpensive pigments, ink, light colors, on paper. Things that are available to painters at the very beginning of their career when they did not yet have a big name. And this work here, I would like you to look not just at the painting, but also at the mountain. So what you see here in this ostentatious, very expressive, mounting is probably made during Hoxha's own time. We don't know for sure, but that's one theory. And just imagine how gorgeous paintings were done and looked in Hoxha's own time. What is shown here on the work itself is a New Year's scene, one of many that Hoxha painted of a bunch of people making mochi, the sticky rice cakes that are still eaten in, during the New Year in Japan. And of course, Hokusai being Hokusai, he turned this into a comical scene of people struggling and being shown at their most vulnerable. And now I would like you to walk into the second gallery of our exhibition. What you see here in this gallery is one genre and one genre alone, preparatory drawings for prints. And we are lucky at the Fair Gallery that we have actually dozens of the preparatory drawings for one of Hoxha's last series. One of the interesting things about these preparatory drawings, they allow us a glimpse into Hoxha's creative process. So, what happened is not every line was exactly done like Hoxai would have liked it and how he was satisfied with it. And if there is a section in these preparatory drawings that he wasn't satisfied with, it would be cut out from the original sheet and then another sheet would be pasted onto that cutout portion and then painted over. And you can see this in a number of the preparatory drawings in this gallery, giving you a glimpse into Hoxai's production process and his work and trial and error to make the perfect image. And in this gallery here, which is our highlight gallery, you can see one of the most astounding works of art in our collection, Hoxha's Thunder God. And this striking painting was made when Hoxha was 88 years old and had still two years to live on this earth. But look at how powerful and how much vigor is still in this work. Hoxha was still going strong, although he was much older than the average lifespan of Japanese at the time. But I always also think of this a little bit as a self-portrait with a muscular thunder god by the slightly weary face of an elder man in which you can almost see Hoxai at that age. Slightly tired, slightly exhausted, but still going strong. In the final gallery, we are showing Hoxai's last decade, from his age 80 to his death at age 90. So follow me there, please. Okay, almost there. Yeah, this is one of the most 
beloved paintings in our collection, Boy Viewing Mount Fuji, which uh, was made when Hokusai was 82 years old. And um, that painting couldn't be more atmospheric with the wind blowing in from the distance, the leaves rustling, the water gushing, mixed with the sound of the boy's flute. One of my favorite paintings actually in the collection because it's so very romantic. This painting was made by Hokusai when he was around 83 years old, as you can see from his inscription there, from his signature. And that work to me always looks like a print that's become a painting. I mean, these colors that Hokusai use, the brown, the blue, the way the, the foliage of the trees is done, that is exactly like Hokusai would do in his prints. So, but this is, of course, a print that became a unique work of art, a painting of which only one exists in the world. Uh, but it's also infused with Hokusai's humor, right? I mean, you see this ferry crossing the river and its passengers being bored and just, you know, cradling their heads, waiting for the ferry to finally arrive and to bring them ashore. So this is, uh, this is Hokusai looking at his subjects and basically pointing his finger at them and trying to tease out the, uh, them at their most vulnerable and at their most interesting. And finally, I would like to show you a few of Hokusai's sketches. Through the sketches in our exhibition, you can really get a sense of Hokusai's creative process and his um, trial and error in finding exactly the right expression for his subjects and his paintings. So focus especially on the, on the sketch up here, where Hokusai tried out different faces and physiognomies and expressions to find exactly the right fitting template for the subject that he would then transport into his painting. We don't know what this uh, a sketch uh, refers to specifically. We don't know the painting that it relates to, but it shows you Hokusai's analytical self and how he tried to dissect his subjects and get into the very essence of them.